What are you doing, robber? Why do you do a cold frame? A what? A cold frame? What's a cold frame? A thing to grow vegetables and stuff in in the cold. Okay. <laughs> with a greenhouse lid and insulation and you can dig it into the ground if you want to give the ground insulation around the sides. What are you going to plant in it? Um, I don't know. Carrots and lettuce and potatoes I guess. Cold stuff because not very much stuff can grow here. Okay. Especially really nothing like people like in Oklahoma. Nothing like tomatoes and peppers and squash. I don't think we could get that to grow just outside. I see. Maybe not even at all. Yeah. What do you think? Probably not at all. I think it has to be mostly greenhouse grown because yeah. even in the summertime, it's like hottest it gets here is like 85. 80. <laughs> yeah, and at night it's still like 50. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we can grow any of those really, really warm weather things. Yeah. Unless so, you have a greenhouse. Yeah, we have a greenhouse. All right. frame part built we can't really continue on because we don't have our insulation we'll have to go get some of that you know the top usually uh, is hinged on puts hinges at the back because you'll have to raise it up in the daytime or so it doesn't get too hot lower it at night to keep warm but the problem here is we have these ginormous winds that blow a million miles an hour so I have to figure out a way to hold up the top without it blowing off Normally these things are made with like 2x12s and 2x8s, however we don't have any 2x12s and 2x8s, but we did have this OSB left over from the shouse build, so that's why we're using it. I was one worried about maybe the weight of the uh, soil pushing out on the sides, but I think it'll be okay, I mean, because even if it does, I don't think it will like break it apart. And if it, if it does kind of get wobbly, we can always maybe reinforce it with a, some other wood in here to kind of stabilize it or something. I don't know. But like I said, we're using our leftovers so we can save some money. Mm -hmm. definitely, a, definitely a temporary deal. And we may be able to put some stakes in the ground right here in front of on the on the perimeter yeah. to keep it from bulging we out. We do have the rebar still. Yeah, we got that rebar. We, we can use that if we need to. That's true. Two on the front and two on the back. Good the idea. sides ought to be okay with this extra one in the middle. Probably. And they're shorter. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so here it is in all of its glory. Yes, now we just have to put the screen on and stuff. Yeah, I think for insulation, it'd be good to have one sheet of plastic on top, one sheet of plastic on the under underside of this door as well. You have a little air barrier insulation. And then use those boards there as little supports. Supports to hold it open when it's in the daytime. And then for the wind, we can have a combination of those supports and bungees to hold it down on the support so it doesn't fly off. Mm -hmm. about that? Work for you, Robert? Yeah, okay. I think it's a good idea. Thank you. Right. Well, Robert is clearing an area to put our cold frame here so that we can plant some plants and finish that up. We got some insulation for that. We got some plastic. Say hi, Robert. Hello. <laughs> Do you think that if we water this a lot, this will break down if I leave it in the bottom or no? I wish it would, but I don't think it will. Not even enough with water? No way. That's pretty tough fiber. 
I don't think so, Robert. Now but, I have to clean it all up. Well, I'll just scrape it over to a pot and we'll burn it. So, that is, by the way, an environmentally friendly way of taking care of it. All right, it's in place, facing south. And just, we'll slide some insulation down here in the inside and then fill it with dirt, robber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. That looks pretty good, robber. I have to get the bag now. What is that stuff? Um, styrofoam. How thick? An inch and a half. An inch and a half, like. yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's thicker than what the directions called for. They just had a little bit of squeegees, but. That's okay. I figure where we are, we'll hurt it. Yeah, be great. And then you've got some organic material to mix in with the uh, local sand. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of bags of uh, potting mix over there that I got last year because I was going to just pot and make some plants in those uh, plastic tubs. It's but... too bad that our compost from our compost pile out there isn't ready. Nope. <laughs> well, we're going to have to put a lot of water on it to get that to work. It's I'm not sure. really breaking down, is it? It's hard to keep this stuff moist out here. Yeah, it's so dry. Anyway, it's a good, nice dry climate. Good thing we got the well. That looks really good, Robert. Yeah, we should done. get some plastic on it and put some dirt in it. Maybe put dirt in it first because it would be easier than trying to hold up the top with the plastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mixing in this pumice and manure into the sand to give it some organic material kind of you know I don't know make it a little bit better than just sand I guess unfortunately we don't have any compost of our own of our own to mix in we had to buy this make a nice interface between the native material and the organic material 